Hi everybody. All right, so today's video, we're gonna look at the Samsung Galaxy S10 uh, full display screen replacement. As you see, it's just, it's pretty much messed up. This phone needs a full display screen replacement. And if you look at the back here, the back camera is actually kind of cracked right there. So I'm gonna replace the back lens right here. So the customer also had concerns from there being so many dents around the corners right here. So I'm gonna replace this full screen with the frame. All right, so Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus full screen replacement. Let's get this started. All right, everybody. So just to explain really quickly again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the full screen with the frame. And as you see, when I do it with the frame this time, you don't have to do it with the frame. You can just do it with the screen by itself. I just happen to have them only with the frames right now. If you buy them without the frame, um, you could probably get the screens, this part right here, probably for like $15 less. You see all these like scuffs, dents, and scratches all around the outside right here? That stuff is gonna be all gone because we're gonna have a brand new spanking new screen like this. This part I bought for $195. This camera lens costs like $2. So that's about $197. Let's just round it up. $200 in parts. This is a $300 job. $300 minus $200 gives me $100 in profit. And I believe I'm gonna do this in about maybe 30 to 40 minutes. So as you see, we're gonna time this. It's 746 on July 15th right here. And let's get this started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna blow heat around the edges of the back of the phone to get this back glass off. We are gonna keep this back glass because nothing is wrong with it. So how do we do that? We're gonna blow some heat on this thing. All right, so now that you see we have the uh, back glass off, this thing is actually pretty heavy for a back glass. And by the way, the new screen comes with a new fingerprint scanner, right? So your fingerprint scanner continues to work even after the repair. All right, so now that we have this thing off, we'll just put it right here. And uh, what we're gonna do next is just take out all the screws that you see. They're all the same size. It doesn't matter if you get them mixed up or not. All right, so we got all the screws out, and before uh, we move on, you see all this old tape that's on here? Get rid of it. There's stuff right here, you see this? Because new tape is gonna be used to put the um, back glass on. All right, so now we're gonna take these little plastic things off. Right here. Then this thing will come out like this. So this right here is your ear speaker. I mean, your loudspeaker. Is what this is what you listen through your music right here. All right. So we'll set this aside, and then what we're gonna do? We'll set this aside too. We're gonna start unplugging everything right here. Everything is a pop connection. We're gonna start off with the battery. We're gonna start the uh, front selfie camera right here, front facing camera. We're gonna un connect the uh, disconnect the uh, the actual screen uh, we will disconnect the uh, headphone jack so now we're gonna uh, unscrew these screws right here we're gonna there's one up here and then two on the bottom and we're gonna take the uh, sim tray out of here so we can lift the motherboard out of the phone All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the motherboard out of the phone. And what you do is, what I do is I kind of flip the phone around like this and I jiggle 
the motherboard out. Kind of go back and forth just like this. It comes out. See that? So this is your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus right here. And even if you wanted to change out the cameras, the back cameras, you see how there's three cameras? Pop connection, pop connection. You can easily replace the cameras on here. We have our new part right here, new screen with the frame. And as you see right here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna transfer the ear speaker, the battery, and the uh, headphone jack. And we're gonna just, those three things, we're gonna transfer over. And the gasket. You see how this doesn't have a gasket right there? This is very important. You, this like little black kind of rectangle looking thing, this is a gasket. If you don't transfer the gaskets over with the front selfie camera, the camera, the front selfie camera will look blurry. So the reason it gets blurry is because if you don't have that gasket spacer thing on there, the camera sits too close to the glass of the screen and it doesn't focus well. So there has to be a spacer there. Let's start off with the uh, ear speaker. Let's take this out. We're gonna blow heat on there. I always use a razor blade to get the ear speakers out. They're just much easier to get out. There you go like this. All right, there's the ear speaker. I'm gonna put the ear speaker here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the gasket out right here. We're gonna blow heat on that as well. Get our tweezers. And that is our gasket right here. All right, so we got the gasket, the ear speaker, and now let's do the headphone jack. I think this thing will just plug out. There we go, comes right out. We won't put this in yet, and I'll explain why. Let's put it to the side right here. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this uh, battery. And we don't wanna bend the battery. So the way that I do this is I use alcohol, 91%. I pour it in this little thing. And then I pour alcohol right here. See that? And on this side, what this does, move it around, slush it around. The alcohol eats up the adhesive so you can get the battery out of the phone. So we'll slosh this around underneath the battery and then we'll just kind of pluck this open. I probably used a little bit much, but that's all right. Yeah, so here's the battery, nice and flat. All right, so we'll put this aside. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take out this uh, vibration motor and we're gonna transfer it. You can blow heat, but there's just a little bit of alcohol in there and I don't wanna blow hot air in this thing, right? So now everything is out of this frame and we don't need this anymore. So now we're just gonna put this to the side. We're gonna focus just on this thing right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this motherboard back. So the reason why I don't put this thing in first is because this thing gets in the way, right? So we're gonna grab the motherboard, put the bottom in first, go like this. There we go, everything fits in. Now we're gonna plug in the screen. We're gonna do the headphone jack. Plug that in right here. And then we're gonna put the screws in right here. The one on the top. All right, front selfie camera. Let's plug this in. Okay. So now we're gonna install the battery. And we are gonna uh, put tape right here. So now the reason why I put tape right here is because when this phone is all together, once again, like I say a lot, if you push on this hard, you'll you'll feel like a popping sound and a flexing sound. So this kind of gets rid of that. 
All right, so we're gonna grab our battery and we're actually gonna take out this old adhesive that we have on here. Because this thing comes with adhesive around there on the sides. All right, so we're gonna lay our battery right in. Lay it down right in there. Squeeze together. All right, let's clean this stuff up right here. All right, so everything's in the phone. Make sure all the connections are, just double check everything. Feel it with your nail, just like this. All the connections are plugged in. All right, so now what we're gonna do is put this plastic piece in here, put all the screws back. All right, all the screws are in. Now let's go ahead and just turn this phone on. All we have left is to put the uh, back cover on. You see that? All right, so we have a uh, pre-cut adhesive right here. And you see all this old uh, tape that we have here? Let's get this all off, because we don't, ha don't want to have like double layers of this stuff, you see? It's the same stuff. Peel that off. All right, everything is out of here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna fix this camera lens. All right, so now we can just put this right in here. I actually don't know which way this goes, so I'll figure it out right now. It does not look like it goes that way. It looks like it goes this way. Just like this, right? Oh, there's actually an outline in this. It's just in there like this, okay? So then this thing would go like this. Okay, so it goes like that. There we are, fits in perfectly. Okay, there we go. Fit in just like this. Just like that. Okay, so now the only thing that we have left is this pre-cut adhesive. Start in the corner. like that all right now all we do is just like this so remember all the old adhesive was taken out now we can just easily Put this in and it will fit nice and flush. That, that, just like that. And this thing, ladies and gentlemen, is done. Okay, so how long did this thing take? Let's see, I don't even know, I didn't even look. Okay, so it's 824. I believe we started at 745, I think, right? So it took 40 minutes, around 40 minutes to do this whole thing, right? 40 minutes, $300 job, $200 in parts, $100 in profit in 40 minutes, 45 minutes if you wanna round it up. This thing looks freaking flawless. The back, the sides are brand new. The screen is brand new. Everything is legit. Boom, 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 boom. If any of you guys 
want to know more about how I built this business or need any help, I also do have a cell phone repair course. If any of you guys are interested in, link in the description underneath all of my YouTube videos. All right, this is gonna be it for the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus full screen replacement and a broken back camera glass repair. If this video helped you out in any way, please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys on the next video.